Oh my gosh, this is this is gonna over oh my gosh, no. Good afternoon, everyone, from a much chillier Orlando, Florida. It's like 52 degrees today. Was not ready for this, but I became ready very quickly with a jacket, jeans, and everything. I am set to go. Today we are at French Quarter, and we're trying something that I've never tried before. The Winter Wonderland Snow Snowflake Scavenger Hunt from Port Orleans French Quarter. You may recall we tried the pumpkin scavenger hunt this year and that was a ton of fun and when we completed it, we got a button to signify that we had found all the different objects, the pumpkins all around. So now we're doing basically the same thing at French Quarter, looking for the character, using the clue, write down the name of the character and the location and then I'm, I'm guessing that there's a button at the end or some kind of prize. We're gonna find out together though because today we're going over the whole thing. Now if you're thinking about playing the Winter Wonderland Snowflake scavenger hunt around Port Orleans French Quarter, keep in mind this video will indeed have spoilers, so you may want to avert your eyes at the moments where I tell you where they are. That being said, I'm going to be very, very careful with spoilers now and in the future. That's my commitment. If there's something that I think could spoil something for you in the future, my hope is to kind of just give you a warning, whether it's a verbal warning or as text so you know when to skip something so you can experience it for yourself. Because I know that's something that a lot of friends want to experience, you know, for the very first time, see it themselves. That way you can skip over something so it's not spoiled for you. So that's my commitment now now and in the future, let's get started with the Winter Wonderland Snowflake Scavenger Hunt. First clue, this little guy loves summer and sun and all things hot. Olaf, he's chilling out where you can roast a marshmallow or two or four or a lot. Okay. First one's definitely Olaf, no doubt. Second one, this real boy has got no strings to hold him down. Pinocchio, find him outside where you'll also find the best drinks around. Okay. This chubby little cubby all stuffed with fluff, I love it, is dancing around where you can find all of your souvenirs far more than enough, okay. Last but not least, number 10, with some big ears and bigger wishes, this friend learned to soar. Find him where you'd head out to fun run for beignets and more. Speaking of that, we still have to do the fun run, that, no doubt about it. But now we're gonna go and experience the scavenger hunt. Let's go walk around. First one we're looking for is Pooh Bear, apparently where you can find all of your souvenirs far more than enough. Snowflake with Pooh Bear. Just found Pooh right up there, see that snowflake? Right up there by the dancer. That's a great spot for it. In the arcade, right there. Can you see right up? Yep, right up there. That's Tinkerbell. Another one down. Walking around the lobby for a few minutes here, trying to find, I think it's Mickey. Yeah, Mickey's here by the uh, check-in area. Check in and out. Gotta be around here somewhere. Very impressive, Port Orleans French Quarter management. Very impressive. Yeah, hiding in plain sight. Right outside that entrance in the little bush right there. Yeah, there it is, Chippendale, good one. Really love what they've done with Port Orleans French Quarter. This area is now where you get beignets. What used to be the bar, the bar is actually next door. So they've actually kind of shifted everything down. Beignets here, the bar next door. Very cool. Now we're looking for another snowflake. This one's tough to find. I've been walking around. <laughs> Some of these are tough. Sure enough, we found Pluto underneath those umbrellas at Sausagoulas. Take a look right there. Super good. A lot of these are hidden pretty well, but let's head outside. I have a feeling they'll be hidden <laughs> even better. Outside now, and I feel like the scavenger hunt can get even more difficult out here because sometimes they're hidden in places that, you know, you, you read the hint and it's like, oh, that's not what I expected. So let's keep walking around. I have a feeling that first one though is right by the campfire over there. All right, we're looking for an Olaf snowflake. It could not be more obvious than that. Right there, there it is, right by the campfire. You know, I was asked recently about my favorite resorts at Walt Disney World, and I've made videos for a while of my favorite resorts here, and I feel like that can change over time. That's not a bad thing, and I feel like French Quarter, you know it's my favorite moderate resort. That has not changed, but I think about how much more I love it now. It's like, it's it's exceeded some of the deluxes, in my opinion. Not. Not all of them, but some of them, and it's, it's just, it's so relaxing here. It's quiet, it's close-knit, everything's very close to you. I, I love it, I really, really do. Next one is the fun run, and that is super obvious, right there, right in front, it's Dumbo. Now these, these are definitely easier to find 
than the uh, pumpkin scavenger hunt. That one was downright tricky. You can tell it's cold because there's no one in the pool. There's no one in there, it's amazing. Last three look a little bit more tricky. You got the best drinks around, that could be several places. You got a water games in a little nook and where you can uh, bid getting lost adieu. One's near the map for sure, but best drinks around. Let's try over here. I know you may be jealous of 55 degrees in uh, Orlando, wherever you are, because a lot of places are cooler than that in the United States right now, but this feels so good, ah, feels so good. And there's Pinocchio, right up there, great one. One very interesting thing I've noticed about living here, very first winter here in Florida, is you go one day and you're going out in shirts, shorts and a t-shirt. The very next day, you're in jeans and you're in a jacket. I mean, that's, that's how it is, it's that quick, it's super fast. Water games in a little nook. What? What, what is the definition of a little nook? It said water game, so let's check by the pool with no one in it. It's 50 degrees. There's no one in the water, but their lifeguards are all around. There is one child in the pool right over there. That's, that's impressive. That's commitment. That is commitment to your vacation right there. I remember as a kid playing near these guys. Oh my gosh, the memories, the memories. Leaving the pool area now with no sign of the water games nook. I'm gonna keep looking, I'm not giving up. By the way, I'm also not asking for cast member assistance. And if you get stuck, you can ask for cast member assistance and say, hey, I can't find this one. And a lot of the times they know exactly where they are. But uh, we're gonna try and find this. We're we keep exploring. I'm gonna read you the whole clue here. Our froggy princess loves to dance and cook, Tiana. She is hiding by the water games in a little nook. When I think water games, I think about those, um, those, those games you play like Connect Four. You can play like by a waterway, but I don't know if French Quarter has anything like that. So I'm guessing maybe in here, like in the kids play area, not sure. I tend to think it's not in here though because this area is reserved for children. It's closed at the moment, as you can see right there, but it's reserved for children. So I, I tend to think it's probably not in here. So far, no luck on the water games, but let's go by the map first. I think there's probably one there. I can't see it yet, but still looking. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna look for more water games. Hold on. Yep, I'm pretty sure I see it on the other side of the map right there. Quarterlines French Quarter map right here and right above it on this side. There it is, that is the Blue Ferry. Now. That is one, we still need Tiana. Still looking. I've looked so many places, I can't find this last snowflake. Okay, all right, here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna go one more spot on the other side of the uh, jacuzzi here, and then I'm gonna ask a cast member for help. I'm back in the pool area now, and I, I'm just, it's gotta, I'm, ah, this is gonna happen, we're gonna find it. Water, Water games. games would take place in the pool. Okay. Yes, sir. All right, well, yeah. that, that's good to know. So that, you that's found all. it, yeah. Okay, all right, all right, I'm getting close, thank you. That's yep. not it, but it's a good hint, I like it. Thank you, thank you. Yep. All right, I like that, it was a good hint. He said, you're in the right place. Water games would be played by the pool. So all right, all right, that's, that's the small hint we got. They're good at that. And a little nook, little nook. I'm almost, I'm almost too tall to walk under here. A lifeguard just looked at me as I was like looking around and she was like, are you looking for the snowflake? I said, yes, but don't give me any, you know, dead on hints. And she said, you're very cold over here. I said, literally, or just where the snowflake is? And she laughed and I laughed and uh, it's not around here. All right, we're gonna keep, we're other side of the pool, other side of the pool. In a little nook, little nook. Does this, does this look like a little nook to you? It look, kinda looks like a nook. I'm not giving up, I'm not giving up. It's not gonna happen. Oh my gosh, this is, this is gonna, oh, oh my gosh, no. Did you see it all along? Did, did you see this? I can't believe this. Ah. Oh my, ah, oh, my, oh, I should have found that one. Oh, okay. All right, well, we didn't get a full hint. I don't, I, it was not like this is where it is, but the uh, supervisor told me it was in the area of the pool. So that was the only hint we got, but we got them. We got every single one on the scavenger hunt. Let's go back to the front desk and get our, and I read it this here, frosty surprise. Hmm. Still laughing at myself for just, I, I walked past it twice, three times, I don't know. I, you probably saw it earlier in the vlog. You were like, Mike, you just you just walked past it, really? Then it loop back around and oh my gosh. All right, back to the front desk. Yeah. Appreciate it greatly. Take care. Have a good one. And there it is, as we predicted, that special button commemorating the fact that we had a flurry of fun finding the snowflakes at Port Orleans French Quarter. That is awesome. I will definitely add it to my button collection. 
How fun. Definitely a ton of fun to search for those snowflakes or pumpkins. It's just so much fun. It's so magical. It adds another layer of depth to an already amazing resort. You get to explore. It's just so much fun. Now, it is preferable to do that on a day where it's a little bit warmer out, but that's okay. That's okay. It adds to the season, the feel of the season. By the way, I thought I was moving to Florida. This is 50 degrees. That being said, it's like 20 degrees in Maryland right now. So that's okay. That's all right. And apparently, I read, it's going to go down to 40 degrees. Nobody told me it went down to 40 degrees in Florida. Now I'm just kidding. I knew that it would. It's okay. That's all right. That's with the season. I'm comfortable. It's, I'm actually really comfortable. It's really, really good. And now we're going to make our way to Epcot. Let's close out the night with more Festival of the Holidays. I want to get as much food as possible from Festival of the Holidays this year. That's the plan. Now I should note when I say try all the different foods this year, I, I'm talking about, you know, when I'm hungry, when it's applicable, we stop by Epcot to try more of Festival of the Holidays so I can tell you more about the food. Doesn't mean that I want to try every single item. As you know, living in the area, it can be very difficult if you're trying to watch your weight, which is what I'm trying to do now because I've realized that I just can't eat absolutely every burger in the world anymore because it will just, you know, show up uh, right here. On that same note, I do want to try and focus a bit more on those protein items and healthy items as well because just eating, you know, like the cakes and the desserts, amazing. You know, I love them. I'm not going to stop eating those things, but I'm going to make them a little bit more spread around a little bit. So it's like, you know, a little bit of this and some protein items and all of that. So got to got to watch those things. And that brings up the conversation, do calories count at Disney? And I I want to say if you're on vacation, they don't count. They do not count if you're on vacation. If you live here, I guess they have to, huh? I don't want them to count because we're at Disney, so you don't you don't want to be thinking about that and you can tell it's taken me time to to realize that, but it, it, it has to count. It has to count somewhere. Right? You can't go every single day. Oh, they don't count. They count. They count. So just got to be a little bit more thoughtful. That, that's all I have to do. And I know we're going to work on it together. It's just, it's just a process. It's, it's part of living in a new area. I'm giving myself that flexibility, but now flexibility is over. So <laughs> got to get back to it. So we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. It just, it just takes some time. Are you ready for something dramatic? Something that I personally never thought would happen visiting a Disney park. I, I did not think this would happen. Are you ready for it? Here it comes. These are how we're going to stay warm when it's, it's this cold. It's so cold. Oh my gosh, colder than, oh, I never thought. I, I honestly, I didn't think that was gonna happen. I'm not gonna complain. I'm not, I'm not gonna complain because I used to be that Marylander who says, oh, you're in the 50s, boo-hoo, for you know, living in Florida. I used to be that guy. That used to be me. So I'm not gonna complain, just gonna keep smiling. That's how we do it. It's it's colder though. It's it's colder than what we're used to. It's funny, you can tell if there's someone around you who is not prepared for the weather wearing shorts and a t-shirt. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. Just be prepared. Please, please be prepared. Coming to Disney in the winter time, things can change that fast. It's amazing. Throughout the year, throughout the year, there's a line here for the pass holder magnets. Goes to show how many pass holders there are, not just in Florida, but all around the United States and around the world. Something super interesting that I've noticed, take a look behind me, that's the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind building right there, the one that's lit up with light. So at night, they actually light it up inside so they can work on it, and now we can see the light from the outside. Goes to show progress never stops. 75 minutes standby for Test Track right now. Goes to show even those great rides can't keep off of them even if it's colder. Tonight I want to test the theory. Does more extreme cold, and I know what you're thinking, Michael, this is not extreme cold. Okay, fine. Does Florida extreme cold lower the crowds for a festival like Festival of the Holidays? Let's find out. Now this is usually a pretty big uh, this is, you know, choke point right here on your way to Mexico across this bridge, and right now, not too bad, not too bad at all. I've definitely seen it much more crowded than this. Now it is a weekday, so that could play into it, but so far, Hmm, looks promising. I think I just found a new pair of ears. The uh, Gunta ears apparently su means sweetbread in Mexico. Wow, all right, so there you go. Take a look. A little bit of a newer design there. Only place I've seen it, this cart right here, Mexico Pavilion. Wow. Now, I wouldn't call it a low crowd day, not by any stretch of the imagination, but that's not as crowded as I tend to see, at least this time of year, 
in World Showcase. So, so far it seems pretty likely that the more, more extreme Florida cold does drive some of the crowds back to the resorts. First up on the menu tonight, let's try that celebration barbecue pork from China and the Shanghai Holiday Kitchen. From the Shanghai Holiday Kitchen in China, we've got the celebration barbecue pork with the steamed rice and the fortune cookie. Looks absolutely delicious and it smells delicious too. Let's try it first without any sauces and just the beef first. Bon appetit. The sauce makes that one. It really does. I don't know what kind of sauce it is, like a it's like a mango sauce. It's so good. It's the sauce is so good. The the beef is actually pretty tender. Not the most tender I've ever had, but pretty tender. I'm impressed by this one. Wow. A really good flavor throughout. Now it's a lot more food than usual, but it is more expensive than some of the other items. Seven dollars and fifty cents. I think it's worth it though. The, the taste is really really good. Tastes like. I guess Chinese holidays. I wouldn't know, but it tastes super good. Overall, the Celebration Barbecue Pork is really good. Really, really good. I can definitely recommend this one. I would probably go out of my way for it. And the reason I say probably is probably not every single time. Protein item, delicious, a tiny bit more tender would be perfect, but we're really, really good here. Fortune cookie time! Let's see what it says. Character development is the true aim of education. I like that. And the fortune cookie taste. Oh yeah. That's a good fortune cookie. Wait a minute, what brand is that? Golden Bowl. That That's a very good tasting fortune cookie right there. Wow. Overall, the Celebration Pork gets a thumbs up from me. Yum. I'm walking by the Bavaria Holiday Kitchen here and it all looks really good, but then I see this. Look at this one right here. Cheese fondue. Super tempted. All right, but I'm gonna be better though. We're, we're watching watching how many. So all right, we're gonna, we're gonna wait on this one until the next time, but uh, super tempted. You can tell the crowds are super intense right now. The reason is, this is Neil Patrick Harris who's standing right there, right there. He's, he's over there, I just saw him. Last time we were here, I saw the iced Christmas toddy, the non-alcoholic. I'm gonna give that a try today. Cloves, mm -hmm. and then the mix, the honey mixture has already been pre-mixed with um, additional honey to huh. give it its sweetness. Sure. It's uh, not as sweet as I usually like my tea. I usually like a little bit more sweetener in my tea, but I should get used to not as sweet tea, that's okay. So this is really, really good. It's even got a cinnamon stick right in there. I've got to wait for it to cool down a little bit to get that full flavor. Sitting here now relaxing with an amazing view of World Showcase right here with that hot, non-alcoholic Tati in my hand. It's not bad. It's not bad, but it's not great. $3.99 before taxes, I would say definitely not worth it. If you want some tea, I would actually buy one of the boxes there, bring it home or to the resort, and make the tea there. It's, it's just, it's not quite right. Not quite there. The temperature of it means more than anything else. It's nice and hot and allows us to sit back, relax, and enjoy these views without uh, shivering. Because, I don't know, 50 degrees, but shivering. It's so amazing. I just sat on this bench for a while, just relaxing, enjoying these views, taking it all in, getting ready for even more magic to come. Mm. Smiling ear to ear, all the time, all the time. Can't get over it. Now in terms of the trees at Walt Disney World, this one is just so incredibly massive. The fact that you can see it from basically anywhere at Epcot really goes to show, you know, the, uh, the, the size of it. It's just, it's almost beyond belief. Like, you gotta bend your neck all the way up to see it. Just as I was walking out here, I saw that they're doing that very special LED light photo right here. Last year I missed it, let's get it this year. Take a look right up there, they're actually guests, as far as I know, in that lounge right behind Spaceship Earth. I don't think I've ever seen guests in there before, so this is a first right behind where they're taking this picture. I absolutely love these shots, and I've gotten them before with the, the runner in the background who's kind of holding that light stick there, I absolutely love it, but I've never gotten it here before with Spaceship Earth behind you. Oh my gosh, I love it. Super. Thanks again. Okay. Appreciate it. Such a cool photo. Such a cool photo. What a day. What a truly magical day. Started it with French Quarter and that scavenger hunt and ending it here at Epcot. I love it. Thanks so much for sharing in the magic with me today. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time, have a magical day.